If you remember last time we were together, we talked about having a video call with my friend Chloe. She's visiting her family farm and has been cool enough to video call with us and share some things about mornings on the farm. Well, I'm not sure why I did it, but I told Chloe that I would get up before dawn and video call with her so that I could hear a real rooster's crow. Whew. I'm gonna try to connect with Chloe. I wonder if she is as tired as I am. Chloe, are you there? Hey, Callie. Good morning. I'm so happy to talk to you. Chloe, it's before dawn. Aren't you tired? A little, but this is my favorite part of visiting the farm. When the sun rises and the rooster crows, ooh wee, I just can't stay tired. But why? I mean, don't get me wrong, that stuff is super cool. But you know what else is cool? Sleep! Why does it make you so excited, Chloe? Well, I guess it just reminds me about things that don't change. No matter what my day was like before, the sun always rises. And the rooster always crows. And that makes me happy. Huh, you're right. That's true. It makes me happy, too. Oh, there it was. Did you hear it? Whoa! I sure did! A real rooster crow from a real farm! That was awesome! Thanks for letting us hear it, Chloe. My pleasure. I'm gonna go get started on morning chores while you all check out today's Bible story. Today's Bible story comes from the book of Matthew chapter 27. When Jesus was on earth, many people followed him. He forgave sins and healed those who were sick. That's because he wasn't just any guy. He was God's own son. But that made some of the leaders very angry. They didn't believe that Jesus was really God's son. They thought that Jesus was making things up and causing trouble. So they had Jesus arrested and put up on a cross. This was a very bad punishment for the worst bad guys. But Jesus was a good guy and he didn't do anything wrong. Jesus' friends were very sad and very confused. They thought that he would one day become their king. They never imagined that Jesus would die, especially on a cross. After he died, Jesus' body was taken down from the cross and put in a tomb, which is a cave. A big rock was rolled in front of the entrance. It was too big for anyone to move. Soldiers were told to guard the tomb. They did everything they could to keep Jesus in the tomb, but it wasn't enough. After three days, there was a big earthquake. The ground shook around the tomb where Jesus was. An angel appeared and rolled the big stone away. The guards were scared stiff. They couldn't do anything to stop it. When two women who were friends with Jesus came to the tomb to see where Jesus' body was, they found the angel there instead. The angel told them that they wouldn't find Jesus' body inside the tomb because he wasn't dead. He was alive. Jesus came back to life. The women ran to go tell the others. While they were on their way, they saw Jesus himself. It was true. He said hello and they fell at his feet because they were so happy. The women went to spread the news that Jesus is alive today and every day. That day changed everything. And just like Chloe knows the sun will rise and the rooster will crow on the farm, we all know that Jesus is alive today and every day. You know what that makes me want to do, friends? It makes me want to practice my very own rooster, Cock-a-doodle-doo! You want to practice with me? Ready? One, two, three, Cock-a-doodle-doo! Oopsies, I'm gonna go apologize to everyone for waking them up. Maybe I'll make them a big farm breakfast to really say sorry.
alive today.